Hi guys. Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome back to Shop and More with Kimberly and Santos. Yeah, you. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about um, my top favorite um, Bath and Body Works scents of all time. Um, yeah, these, of life. yeah, these are my, um, basically the scents I cannot live without. Like my desert island scents, I got to have them in my collection always and forever, hopefully, you know, if they stick around. And this video was suggested by Dahlia700, I believe. So if you're watching Dahlia, thank you so much for this suggestion. It was a great idea and yeah, we thought we will we would uh, do this uh, video for you. So I hope you enjoy it and hope everybody is doing well. And make sure I give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. We would love for you to be a part of our YouTube family. Um, before we begin, we want to talk about um, how again we want to talk about the coupons we received from Bath and Body Works. We got our mailers for this month. And this is what the front is looking like. Discover a summer of fragrance and it's promoting um, endless sea and wild sands. And on the inside, it's looking like this. This is the top part. Um, it's promoting uh, endless sea and wild sand, of course, and then cactus blossom. Sensual, sensual Amber and Underwater Oasis. Those scents are returning. And, and, blue citrus. and then we have a new scent that's coming out. It's usually in candle form. Home Fragrance. That one is called Midnight Blue Citrus. Yeah. And then down on the bottom, we have the Neutral Collection with Coffee and Whiskey. And it's going to be in a hand soap form. And I am here for it. Absolutely love that scent. Yeah, I got the cologne too. But I don't have the cologne spray. Yeah. So I'm probably going to try to pick that one up as well. Yeah, we got to. Yeah. And then the coupons we received are... You want to show them the coupons? Yeah, hit that one right there. You need 20% off and then the free body care gift. I usually get like a, like a little travel size for the free body care gift. Yeah, that's what... to get me like a little body of travel size thing. That's the only thing you can get. Or something like that. I think it's only travel size body care. Really? I think so. Hmm. But I... Wow, supplies last. <laughs> I got the same coupons, 20% off your entire purchase, and then a free body care item up to $9.95. And these coupons are good from now until July 30th. So we'll be able to use it for the new Halloween goodies that are going to be popping up in store. Hopefully July 24th. Um, that's what the little birdie told me. So <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and um, jump in. I believe I have uh, 21 cents with maybe one honorable mention. I'm not too sure. I lost count. <laughs> yeah, but, it has a whole bunch of them. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna start off with my my absolute favorite. I wear her all year round, and I just cannot get enough of this scent. Um, if y'all know me and y'all been watching our channel, y'all know I absolutely love this scent. Um, it is snowflakes and cashmere. Who guessed this scent right? Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> But yeah, she is absolute fire. Uh, she has notes of vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. And those caramel woods and the vanilla cashmere uh, is everything in the scent. Mm. I like the packaging. I like the snowflakes. Me too. I like the way they did that. Yeah, because the packaging before this one was a... Funky looking gray, opaque, faceted bottle, and I was not here for it. <laughs> but this one is so sweet and perfumey, and it lasts all day, and it projects, mm. and that vanilla cashmere is just so creamy. and Vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. Oh, and that caramel is freaking amazing. I mm. absolutely love this one. 
And I hope they never do away with this scent. Bath and Body Works, if you're listening, please keep Snowflakes and Cashmere around because she is the bomb.com. I think it's the mm. vanilla that, that I like about it. Vanilla cashmere cream. Mm -hmm. It's the vanilla and the caramel for me. Mm. I'm not real big on caramel, but it smells good. It's not like sickeningly, sickeningly sweet caramel. It's just, it's you gotta smell it. It's done right. Mm. Yeah, the caramel is more like uh, after you've already started smelling it. The dry down. The dry down. Mm -hmm. That's when I start smelling the caramel. Mm. But yeah, she is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and I'd say she's my number one out of all of them. <laughs> oh, my turn? Yeah. Oh. Why not? I thought you were going to grab a little. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm just going to go down the line. Uh, next, we have Perfect Peony. Mm-hmm. No keynotes. Um, I'll insert the notes on the screen. <laughs> uh, what is... I'm trying to remember. I know she has peony petals and like an apple note in it. And I wish she would. they would bring her back because she is so pretty and spring-like. Oh, yeah. And just floral and has a hint of sweetness from that apple. Yep, I smell the apple. I yeah, see what you're talking about. She is so pretty. And I actually have the perfume mm, there. That peony goes so good with that apple. Mm -hmm. I Pairs agree. Really good. Love this one. Perfect peony. Yep. And the next one I want to talk about is this one right here. Um, I fell in love with this set when it came out. I have like three backups plus <laughs> the perfume. Uh, this one is Coco Paradise and... She is so freaking good. Um, it has notes of salted coconut manoi, sugar neroli, and bronze sandalwood. And this scent, to me, smells like a lady that's like sunbathing on the beach. <laughs> sunbathing on the beach, and she's like oiled, oiled up. And um, she's so, just wearing like a hot bikini and she's look, looking all bougie and... With that bronzer. And yeah, all oily <laughs> and stuff. That's what it reminds me of. Or somebody that's like walking down, I guess, like the beach with like a beautiful sundress and one of those, you know, those hats that they wear. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like for the summertime? Yeah, those summer hats, those real big ones. Mm -hmm. And yeah. like some pretty sandals. Yeah, this one is so good, and get that salted car, um, coconut, and then the sugar neroli sweetens it up a bit, and then it dries down to that uh, bronze sandalwood. I absolutely love sandalwood, and this is real perfumey, and it's so strong, and it lasts. Oh, so good, and by the look on your face, you don't like it, huh? <laughs> I'm just not big on it. I, I, it. For me, it's... um The coconut? I don't know because now it's... I just don't like it at all. None of it. The coconut. The I don't like the way it pairs with the sandalwood. I don't know. Something about it just rubs me the wrong way. When I wore it the other day, you are like, ooh, you smell good. I know, but I think you paired it with something. No, I didn't. Because... It didn't smell the same. Like, it smells on there. It didn't smell the same on The there. only thing I paired it with was the perfume. That's it. Really? Mm -hmm. it the, 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 your body's making it change the yeah. way it smells because I don't like it right at the bottom like that. Because I'm able to smell it on me and it smelled just like how it is in the bottle. Let me smell it again. Yeah, see? I don't know why I can't... <laughs> it, it, I can't handle it right out the bottle like that. But then when I smell it on you, I think it's just... My body chemistry. I think chemistry. it's your body chemistry. Yeah. Because I think when you were wearing it, I, I can kind of remember it. But it didn't smell like that. Let's see. Let's see. Let it dry <laughs> down. Let it dry down. But you know what? I have Midnight Amber Glow body cream oh, on, so that might... That might change it, though. How about up here? Did you not put that up there? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> It 
See, it smells different. It smells more, uh, I smell more of the, the sandalwood and a little bit of the coconut more. It's sweeter too on my it's skin. It's a little sweeter. See, it doesn't smell, for me, it's like sick. This, this one is Sweet. like, in the cap, it smells salty. Salty coconut. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's what it mm -hmm. is. I don't like that. No? No. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is no other than strawberry pound cake. <laughs> and this is the yeah, this is the original bottle, the very first one that came out in 2020, right before the pandemic happened. And they started coming out with all these hundred different kinds of SPCs everywhere. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I only have a little bit left and I'm trying to hold on to it because it's the very first bottle that came out. Yeah. But I like she, the nozzle. Yeah, I do too. She smells uh, just like a strawberry pound cake. Oh, so sweet and gourmand and gives me like cotton candy vibes a little bit. And see, I don't like kinky scents, but that one, they did it right. Mm -hmm. I, will, I, I, I will always say that about that one because that is so true to me. Yeah, she's not I'm like not cake. real cakey. I think that's why you can tolerate this one. But yeah, this nice one is gourmand scent. so good. If you're a gourmand lover, give this one a try. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Sunset Glow. Oh, yeah. I think what draws me to this one is the cherry scent. Cherry seltzer. You know, I, I love cherry. It's got fresh coconut sparkling, cherry seltzer, and dreamy moonflower and caramelized vanilla. I like the bottle too. I, I, I like the color scheme. I yeah. Think that looks really cool. This is the OG one. Yeah. See, uh, the way they did that cherry with the vanilla, and they even have like, I can smell that floweriness. The moonflower? Mm hmm. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, you get hit right with that cherry seltzer and that mm. caramelized vanilla. It mixes so beautifully with that cherry seltzer, and then you get a hint of that floral. I like the, the, way, moonflower. the way it ends with the floral. I like that touch to it. Yeah, and I think this scent can be worn year-round as well. Yeah. It's kind of like a gourmand because of that caramelized vanilla. It's a little sweet. So, but yeah, yeah. she Good is stuff. the bomb.com. And if you love um, that scent, uh, try out uh, Sol de Janeiro number 62 because it's a dupe for uh, uh, Sunset Glow. Yeah. It's the bomb. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this one. I had to include a fresh, clean laundry scent. And this one is called White T-Shirt, guys. I have like maybe five backups of this one. <laughs> That's how much I love it. And this one has notes Six of... <laughs> Has notes of crisp pear, fresh white t-shirt, lavender cloud, clean musk, and soft sandalwood. And came with that sandalwood. You have to like laundry scents to really enjoy this one because she smells straight up like Tide or like fabric softener. It or smells good, but it's dryer sheets. Oh, it's a little too much like laundry sheets to me. Yeah, I like the candle more than I do the the body care. I think I like the body care more because it's strong. See? Strong Isn't laundry. Crazy? I like the candle because it's not so strong. And I like to smell uh the clean laundry when it comes out like the comes out of the dryer. And when you add this onto your like your clean clothes, uh it just amplifies the clean laundry scent from you know when you washed your clothes. But yeah, this one is so good. Absolutely love it. Next we have Fairy tale. Yeah, this one. This one, yeah. I, I, I wasn't too fond of like the packaging. I love it. It looks okay, but I don't know. There's something about. I like the 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 way they did like the hologram. There's something about the style of the art of the flowers I don't like. I don't know why. I think the packaging is gorgeous. But other than that. Looks like I a fairy mean, tale. I like the color scheme. Yeah. I like the color scheme that they have on there. I like these colors. I don't. I just don't like the shapes of the flower. I, I like. Think. I like how it's holographic. That's really awesome. Yeah. yeah. I like what they did with that too. Uh, Kinos are pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. 
Yeah, and the amber gets me in the scent. It's I like gorgeous. that hollow too, that metallic green. If you love amber, I think you'll really enjoy this one. Because the amber is the dry down. And this scent, they don't have this scent anymore. Oh, yeah. It's like, come on, Bath and Body. Yeah, first thing I get is that pomegranate. Mm-hmm. And that, that orange, that fresh orange blossom. I get pomegranate. And then the dry down is that amber. It's like really strong. Yeah, I get pomegranate and that vanilla bean. And then the dry down is the amber. I'm getting the vanilla bean with the amber at the end. Mm-hmm. I smell it really strong. Yeah. But it blends so beautifully together. All yeah, those notes. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah. And so the next one I want to talk about, um, I picked it up during SAS, and this one is called Golden Sunflower. And what's crazy about this scent, I didn't really like it last year. <laughs> But when I smelled it in store and I brought it home, I absolutely loved it. Um, it has notes of sunflower petals, orange flower, and fresh vanilla. And what gets me is the fresh orange and the vanilla. I love when they add um, orange, I'm sorry, orange flower to scents. I really love orange flower. I can't bring myself to like this one. Mmm. And then it has like a hint of creaminess with that vanilla. Oh, so pretty and, and perfumey. The sunflowers just don't do. I never like sunflowers. I don't like the scent of sunflower. For me, the orange flower overpowers the sunflower. Oh, I can smell it like on the dry down, the orange, but I still smell that. The that sunflower. Lingering sunflower. The floral. Yeah, I, I'm not a sunflower person. Yeah, if you love florals with the orange flower and vanilla, I think you'll really enjoy this one. It's perfumey. It smells like a high-end perfume to me, in my opinion. And she does last and she does project. So give her a try. Um, I believe it's 75% off right now at SAS. Oh, so good. Next, we have Butterfly. Oh, yeah. Love her. And this one has raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. Mm. Beautiful scent. Mm. Right off the rip, I get the raspberry. Mm. And the iris is like... Ooh, right there with it. it. Yeah. Such a beautiful fruity floral, but it's more floral than fruity. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so airy, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for spring. Oh, I'm starting to get more of the vanilla pulling out as it dries down. But I still smell that raspberry and iris. Yeah, it's pretty prominent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Great scent. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This will always, always, hopefully, this will be around longer. I <laughs> hope so. Um, I have the perfume thanks to Lizzie. Yeah, Lizzie um, Colony. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> grateful for her. Yeah. Or, you know, picking it up and sending it to me. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> I only use the perfume like once since I've gotten it. So I'm kind of like trying to not use so much of it because I only have that one bottle. <laughs> I've been using the heck out of the forest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's almost gone. It's like halfway already. <laughs> yep. Oh, and um, I actually wore this scent yesterday. Um, it's crazy ah, that. Dahlia. Yeah. Dahlia 700. Yep. <laughs> So this one is called Dahlia, and this one is so freaking good. She smells like a sexy, high-end perfume, and she gives boss bish vibes. <laughs> I did a, a shorts video on this one. Um, it uh, has notes of velvet Dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline musk, and whipped tonka bean, and that praline and Dahlia petals, oh my lanta. <laughs> Mmm, I just love tonka bean. If it has tonka bean, sign me up. Mmm. Yeah, I've always liked that one. And then you get you're getting that crisp pear note along with the dahlia petals. Oh my god. I love that mixture. Mmm. I love pear. And then the the praline and that the tonka bean it gives it a little bit of that sweetness that just makes it so beautiful. Mmm, it's a sweet floral. So sexy. Mmm. And I have the perfume of this one. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, so Dahlia. I wish they would bring her back because she is so good. Yeah, what's wrong with you guys? I you know, know, right? You gotta bring it back, back to body work. <laughs> oh, my turn. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. Rose water ivy. Yeah, they got the ugly water right here. I don't like this. I like the faceted. I, I think that one's pretty. Like I like the clear one. I'm sorry. I know there's faceted uh, uh, people out there. They love it. But I'm just not a fan of faceted at all. I mean, okay, there have been a couple of them that I thought looked okay with the faceted. They didn't look too bad. But for the most mm -hmm. part, I don't really like faceted. It's, so, it's too 70s for me. <laughs> Made me feel like I'm in the time machine or something, going back to the hippie days yeah. in the seventies. And <laughs> looks like one of those bathroom windows, Movie. right? <laughs> <laughs> but I had to include a rose uh, scent. Yeah, yeah, that's that good stuff right there. That soft rose petals, mm. rain kissed ivy, and creamy sandalwood. Yeah, the rose is so beautiful. It's the opening notes, and you get a hint of that greenness from that ivy. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's so watery and airy, and if that makes sense. <laughs> it's just a beautiful scent, and it smells just like the candle. Yeah, the rose in the high, the, the high notes right there. Mm -hmm. The rose and the iris, and then you get the mids from the that greenery. Yeah. Until the base of the sandalwood. Oh, yeah. It has a little bit of woodiness, but mm -hmm. it's not, like, too crazy of a woodiness. Smells really good. Yeah. Yeah. Those water and ice. So good. Okay, so the next one I want to talk about is, I guess this one right here. This is the bottle I do not like. <laughs> the opaque bottles. Uh, this one, I'm hoping it comes out again for fall. This one is called a Sweet Whiskey, and these are the bottles I do not I'm like. Again with that faceted. Yeah. You can't <laughs> see through it. It's not... It's not giving. I need something that's going to give. <laughs> it's not it, Bath and Body Works. Um, it has notes of golden amber. Yes, ma'am. I love that. Vanilla infused whiskey. Ugh. And sweet red berries. Mm -hmm. And again, it has amber. And I absolutely love amber. And vanilla. Mm. Sweet whiskey. Is it like that blue one? Yeah. The, the very first one. one. Yeah. It's, it's apple. still good, but... I don't think it's as good as the original. This is the, the, the one that you liked. Are you sure? Yes, the one that I liked has the apple in it. This is the one that you liked with the red berries. Let me see. Yep, it is. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. But this one is giving um, a little bit of uh, snowflakes and cashmere vibes. It's in that same scent family. So if you love snowflakes and cashmere, cashmere, yeah. you'll definitely love this one. Cashmere. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, that amber is just hitting in every single layer. It's so good. And that vanilla infused whiskey is so sweet and so perfumey and good. Love this one so much. All right, next I'm going to grab the I'm going to grab something. Let's see what I grabbed. <laughs> ah, Papaya Paradise Cove. Bring her back, Bath and Body Works. That's cool. Look how it looks like water in there, like in the background. That's so cool. It looked like water back there. Yeah. And word on the street, I'm not sure if it's true or not. Don't quote me on it. But somebody was saying that they're bringing this one back. I'm not sure if it's accurate or not, but I'm hoping so because she is the bomb. Well, this one has fresh papaya, star fruit water. Honeysuckle, passion flower, and amber. And this scent right here smells like tropical fruits, 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 tropical fruits that've been infused in water. Are you gonna say tropical fruit by the foot? <laughs> <laughs> and it's so beautiful. I think what gets me on that one is the honeysuckle. Mm -hmm. I love honeysuckle. And it smells so good with that papaya and that wateriness. Oh, yeah. It just smells so good. The papaya is overpowering the honeysuckle. So uh, for me, I'm not really picking up a lot of the honeysuckle. It's more so of the papaya and that wateriness. Really? I mm -hmm. get more of the honeysuckle than I do the papaya. Really? The papaya is more like in the back for me. Wow. Huh. Mm. 
so watery and aquatic and fresh and fruity and tropical. Yeah, yeah I get one of the honeysuckle. That's crazy. It's everything. Ooh. Everything. Love this one. I think I smelled more of the papaya when it was when you first sprayed it. Yeah. And I have like one more backup and I'm like holding on to it because I don't know if they're going to bring this one back. Mm, yeah, it's KTO. I'm done with this one too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, they're bringing back Underwater Oasis in uh, that same collection when it, um, you know, when it first came out. Um, but they're bringing it back. So I picked up that one instead of Underwater Oasis because... I don't know why. I think because I, I was on a budget and I just picked up that one. But I want to try Underwater Oasis again. See if I still like it. Um, so the next one, let's go with, uh, I guess, Midsummer Dream. And I've always said this is like me in a bottle. This is like my perfect scent. This is like my signature scent, I would say. Um, and it has salted pear, fresh nectarine, and seaside lily, and I think I have like two backups. Oh, that pear gets me in that lily. Yeah. Yeah, the pear really mm, gets me. Lily. It is such a great match for that lily. And it has given like a little bit of sweetness. You, the good, good partners right there. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's a great combo. Mm -hmm. And then you get a little bit of the saltiness. From that pear. Oh, so summery and beachy and tropical. She smells like a high-end perfume and she's fresh and she does last. And I get so many compliments with this one. <laughs> I don't need you back yet. There we go. Okay, what I get? Oh, pink velvet cupcake. <laughs> Didn't we just talk about this one not so long ago? No. I don't like it. <laughs> But this one has like a, uh, look at the, I don't know if you can see it. Marble. It's like uh, holographic, but not, what do you call that? Opalescent? It looks like Something it. Something like that, shimmering. Like it's a marble pattern. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. I don't like the way they did like the pink separating it like that. And the sweet whiskey that you were talking about came out in this same collection. Really? The blue bottle with the marble. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. This one has sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugared praline. Mm. They need to bring this one back, Bath and Body Works. Haven't seen her in a while. I mm, love that berry scent. The way it just hits me right off the bat. Mm. Yeah, it's a berry and marshmallow scent. Mm -hmm. It's so freaking... Sexy. Nice. It's beautiful. It's so good. Mm-hmm. And sweet. A sweet. Oh. That sugared praline. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. good. Yeah, this one's really, really good. I mm -hmm. really, 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 really like this one. <laughs> and I get mad compliments with this one. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the next one, let's talk about... Yeah, this was love at first sniff for both of us. <laughs> it's uh, called Gingham Fresh. And, and body care anyway. <laughs> yeah. And I'm already down to there in this bottle. I really want the perfume, but I can't find it. The The website's been out of stock for a long time. Mm -hmm. Don't know if they're going to restock it or not. I'm hoping so. I hope I can find it because I really want it. Um, look at the bottle. It messed up. Oh. Um, it has juicy pear, sparkling clementine, and fresh daisies. And I love that nozzle. And the pear got me in this scent. The pear and the daisies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> so pear fresh. pairs up so well with so many things. Yeah, they, they always do pear right. That's so crazy how they do it. Mm. Yeah, she's so beautiful. So fresh, so clean. Perfumey. So clean, clean. Mm. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love this one. I hope they never do away with it. Gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try. Let's do this one. <laughs> Midnight Ember Glow. Yeah. Even has that 
go to nozzle. I like the coloring, the bronze with the that looks really cool. Looks like cheetah print. <laughs> I always say don't that. Don't do that. Yeah, you're gonna ruin it for me. I don't <laughs> like cheetah print. <laughs> this one has smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. Oh yeah. There's that amber and the vanilla bourbon. And then that caramel latte is so prominent in the scent, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's done right. Yeah, so because sweet. I'm not real big on caramel, but I like the the pair with the bourbon mm -hmm. and that amber. I like the way they did it. They didn't do too much of the caramel, but it is noticeable. Yeah, it gives it the sweetness. Yeah, I oh, like that. That is really, so really good. good. Bourbon. And I do have a mini perfume that Lizzie gave me uh, when she sent me that butterfly oh, yeah. perfume. <laughs> um, let's go. Let's talk about this one right here. I haven't I haven't worn her in a while. I think because I only have this one bottle. Um, but this one came out in 2019. 2018. Yeah, the top there has an eight. No, you can't see that. <laughs> Yeah, 2018. This one's called Violet Plum. And I will insert the notes on the screen. But I know it has Violet and Plum in it. <laughs> right, dang. Now I got Violet and Plum in it. <laughs> and you just shook it all over my leg. <laughs> but this one right here reminds me of Forever Red a little bit. Mm. It's, it's giving those vibes. Mm. It's a sweet floral, and I get so many compliments with this one. That one's really good. Mm, I'm obsessed with this one. Oh, wrapped in vanilla. Yeah, I had to include a vanilla scent. Soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly cream. Ch chantilly. 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 Mm -hmm. Chantilly. Creme. Mm -hmm. Chantilly creme. <laughs> Ooh, that is strong. Right when I smell it, it gives a it gives a little bit of that cakiness. I'm picking up like cakey. That is a beautiful vanilla scent. I don't get cake. I get straight vanilla. Oh, there it goes. It's it's settling. I guess it was the opening that I was getting cakey Probably. from. Yeah. And then that chantilly cream is just. It's so beautiful mm. when it dries down. It's gorgeous. Chantilly creme. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, so that was wrapped in vanilla. So the next one let's talk about is this one right here. It's called Cotton Candy Clouds. And this one is none other than Boardwalk Taffy. <laughs> it has notes of spun sugar, pink berries, and wet vanilla. Calitis. Mm. Calitis. And this does smell like a boardwalk taffy. You get the salty airiness from like the boardwalk. And then you get a sweetness from that taffy. Cotton yeah, candy. I, okay, I can vibe. get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. Mm. Mm. I guess the sponge sugar is the cotton candy. Mm. But yeah, this one's so good and fun and just... Ah, oh, takes me back to my childhood, and I love this one. Love the packaging. So pretty. This whole collection was fire. Love it. Mm. Next, I knew it. <laughs> I have Endless Weekend. Of course, I'm going to have to pick up this one because I love Endless Weekend. This is one of the original scents that got me into Bath & Body Works. Yes. This was one of the first ones I was like, wait. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Me too. Uh huh. After I smelled this, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. I need to start paying a little more attention to back to body works. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's just, oh. And this one has like co a blue coconut water and um, I think magnolia, if I'm correct. And. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the other one. Yeah, I don't remember, but I'll put them on the screen. This one's so beautiful. Yeah, I can't stop smelling this one. I really like this one. 
Yeah, and we have the candle so, mm -hmm. going on in the living room right now. Oh, I had it going. I just turned it off right yeah. before we came over here. I had this one, and I paired it with uh, vanilla musk. I didn't like the combo. She didn't like the combo. Mm -hmm. I kind of liked it. It was okay, but not sure I would do it again. It was just okay because the vanilla did kind of overtake the Endless Weekend. Yeah, you know, I couldn't so. even smell the Endless Weekend. Yeah. It's that muskiness <laughs> of that vanilla. <laughs> so I'm yeah. probably going to do the vanilla musk with like an amber and a or something. Yeah, I think that'll pair well. I'm going to try that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, Endless Weekend is chef's kiss. Um, the last but not least is Gingham Love. And I have the perfume in this one as well. Oh, she smells like a high-end perfume. Love, 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 love. And I get so many compliments with this one. What are you saying? Love, 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 love. <laughs> <laughs> and the notes are sugared red berries, blush and freesia, and rose meringue. Oh, mm, look at the dry down. So beautiful. Let me see the initial spray. Mm. I like the nozzle. That's a really cool red. You get that blushing freesia yeah, right off the bat. Right off the bat, you get that free. Yeah. Mm. I was just going to say it right off the bat. And it's the rose is mixing so well with that freesia. Ah, that's so good. And then the sugar red berries gives it a sweetness that's so pretty. Yeah, you pick some good mm. ones for your tops. Yeah. Allergy. This one is bougie right here. High end, perfumey. So good. <laughs> Love this one. And this one is going uh, for 75% off. They're actually doing away with this scent. So pick her up and stock up if you love this scent. So good. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, that is it for my top scents that I cannot live without from Bath & Body Works. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all did, give it a huge thumbs up. And let us know down below what are your top scents that you cannot live without. We would love to know. And make sure you're subscribed. We would love for you to stick around and be a part of our YouTube family. Yep. And don't forget to be nice, guys. Yep. Always be nice. Always be nice. We'll talk to you guys in our next video. Y'all have a great night. Bye. Love y'all.